at their stuff and say, you know what, let's trim here, let's trim here, let's change the mission focus here. They're excellent at doing that. And they did it. And they said, you know what, we don't need these ships because we can change our strategy of where the ships are deployed, how the ship, you know, we can do this, this, and this. Okay, you know what, actually we asked for this, but we don't need it. We can make do with this because they know how you know, to, to do that and, to, and, and, and have no problem doing it. You tell them you can't, they can't get it, okay, they're disciplined enough to go back to the drawing board and figure out a way. You know, they will yeah. make a way with what they have. And then, you know, you've got Romney saying, well, okay, you know, instead of applauding them for being able to do that, you know, for people going back and being fiscally responsible with the money given to them, instead of applauding them, they're like, you know what, we're just going to give you more money that you just said you didn't need, actually. Yeah. Huh. Great. How does that make sense? <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's, it's like, think about it, though. Isn't our defense budget bigger than every other country combined? Period. Yeah. Like, how much more money do yeah. we really need put into this shit? You know. But it goes into it goes into R and D so much of it. You've got, I mean, you know, just like every other bureaucracy, you've got DARPA, O and R, NRL, NSWC, DD, NSWC, IA. I mean, you know, IH. I mean, it's. I'm sorry, because you know, you know, I was military wife. I mean, it's just <laughs> they've yeah. got so. But don't many they still different... use cost plus pricing where they where they um. Instead of, you know how in, in normally when new products come out, they're expensive, and then as, as more of them are built, they become cheaper and cheaper. Mm-hmm. But with the military, um, they price uh, everything they buy based on what it costs uh, or what it costed last time they bought it uh, plus uh, a, 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 an increase for inflation. Right, or, right. or an increase yeah. for uh, whatever their uh, arbitrarily set increases are, you know, their yearly right. you know, well, I mean, budget growth. You know, yeah. you know, their stuff, though, also pads in. You, like, I go back to these, these re, uh, research and R&D agencies. You know, they will say, you know, it would be nice. And then they would, you know, go off and, and you know, send out a, a you know, a statement and have people say, okay, I'll try to build this. I mean, they have so much of their money invested in R&D. And it's not going to get cut. You know what's going to get cut is the soldiers' pay and their actual, you know, um, <laughs> you know, it, it, the food that they eat, the stuff you hand the troops. But, um, you know, because you've got all these Lockheed's, Raytheons, North of Grumman, Dying Corps, all that stuff feeding off of the R&D engine of the U.S. military. And, yeah, right. you know, they, they come up with, you know, predator suits. I mean, it's cool shit that they come up with. But, you know, I mean, it's it's stuff that you won't even see the light of day for, you know, 10, 15 years. And, and that's where so much of the money goes. And, you know, I, I you know the people that say, oh, well, you know, the Navy needs this and this. Well, you know, they really don't. They're learning how to build it even, you know, in a very scary T2 kind of way. Um, you know, they're, they're going to where we need less troops. And so that's where the bulk of their money is because you've got all these DOD, you know, contractors out there whose lives revolve around, you know, their whole livelihood supplying, you know, juice to the military. Yeah. And well, I guess we have to control the world. The we've, we've invested a lot of money in it. <laughs> yeah. Um, well, I mean, you yeah. Know, and the, the, but we could do that differently, too, because, like, we so we paid this R and D, you know, right? And you know, our cell phones came from the military. GPS devices came from the military. Um, most of our um, medical research has come through the military. Um, people don't realize this, but the U.S. Army has a bigger medical budget than Health and Human Services for grants. Um, yeah. You know. So much, yeah, it's true. I mean, so much of of the um, products that we have fielded were paid for, and this is this pisses me off too. We're paid for with tax dollars to be used with the military. Then you know, once the patent goes, then everybody starts you know building them, and then it goes overseas immediately. And and that kind of pisses me off that you know, like you know, we paid for the creation of. Uh, here's a good one: Xerox. Xerox came up with the operating system on a military contract. Yeah. And then Steve Jobs Xerox stole it from them. System. 
It was it was the first prototype of the modern operating system that Steve Jobs took a test run of the facility. I, I read the, I read that Pirates of Silicon Valley, and um, you know he took a tour. And it was a woman who did it and uh, represent. And um, you know they used <laughs> our tax dollars to and they stole it, stole the idea, and made billions off of it. And, you know, cell phones, you know, you've got all these Chinese and Japanese companies making a shitload of money off the stuff that the U.S. Army came up with. Yeah. You know, and we never see anything back cell from it. <laughs> yeah, U.S. military came up with cell phones. It's pretty crazy. Huh. Yeah, and GPS. Well, and, I mean, that's how much money is. And, like, when you see the military budget, people think it's You're not for, helping me in my quest to hate the government, I <laughs> no, I mean, it's just, you know, it's, it's, and, and this is how, like, it goes, like, if you're in a special forces unit, I mean, and, and you know, I, I, they will say, like, anywhere else in the world, to, to field a project, you know, or to field a product, it has to go through yeah. testing. They will test it on themselves, like, um, you know, uh, uh, you know, my 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 husband's unit. Um, you know, they're out there shooting each other um, because they were talking with the British people, and they were like, "Oh, look at our new Kevlar." So they literally shot each other wearing their old one, and then this the British one, and then they put up an order for the British. Yeah. Hmm. I mean, it's just. Well, it's, I, I'm I, sure they. <laughs> I'm sure they shot it without somebody wearing it first, and looked at the result, and then put it on and shot no. themselves with it, right? No. They're, they're oh, come not. on. No, what, why do you, why don't you kidding. first put it on a chair and shoot it and then take another one and put it on yourself? Because you're, cause you're really? stuck you're in Iraq. They, they and said, you know what? You don't we don't want any preliminary. Huh? I just I remember this one incident because it caused a shit storm later um, when they found out that they were shooting each other and having a great old time with it. Uh-huh. And um, and yeah, I mean, but I mean, it's just uh, huh. I don't know. And, but they, but after they decided they liked that new type of um, it was ceramic, it was like porcelain Kevlar or whatever. Um, yeah. They just put in a order for it. I mean, certain like the average grunt doesn't get shit, right? But special force units, um, DARPA, NRL, um, O and R, all of those. I mean, they have a blank check. I mean, they pretty much have a blank check. You know. Hmm. I'd buy it. Well, I mean, you know, but, but okay. you, know, <laughs> you know, I mean, and, and at DHS, I don't think it's any different. I mean, look at these. Oh, by the way, you know the, the scanner, the, the full-body scanner that supposedly came out right after 9-11? They were working on that in yeah. the 90s. You know, and, yeah. and it, it's, it's uh, contractors drive our budget. Yeah. They do. We sure. have the TSA because they want to sell those machines. I mean, it's it's crazy. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, special interests in general run the government, so that's not surprising. Well, yeah. Mm. Well, you know, and, and, and I know this is supposed to be about the, the, the diff, quote differences between Obama and Romney. Um, I the thing that scares me a little bit about Romney over Obama is that he's of that shark world, that great white shark world that has no problem yeah. with this, you know, yeah. that, you know, businesses should be allowed to drive government, that that corporatism yeah. and current capitalism, and I don't understand why Republicans don't see this, but they have this kind of, like, fanboy, like, <laughs> you know, they're the, the people in the audience of the rock concert, they just, you know, are so, like, taken in with people that can make vast amounts of wealth that they don't yeah. seem to care that, you know, the, that, you know it's, it's the, the cart before the horse that, you know, we're deciding how big our government is based on the companies that want to be involved with it. Yeah. And I just, I mean, I, I realize that the people around Obama are the same way. You know, the, the people around him are the same way. I just don't think he's clued in and keyed in enough that he's the one making those decisions, although I'm, I'm sure that they're still getting made by people around him. Yeah. I mean, in reality, I don't think either one of them is really making the decisions. I think their strings being pulled, but I think Romney is yeah. definitely... I've, what I've always 
equated to, they always say, well, he's more successful. Obama was a nobody, you know what I mean? Or Romney was a successful business, mm-hmm. businessman. I'm like, that's great. But the problem is they have this, the, the same, the, the same MO really. So, and it's a disaster. So would you rather have the guy who would kind of suck at pushing that through or the guy who would be better pushing it through? You know what I mean? <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Romney, yeah. Romney will do the things Obama couldn't do in a bad way. I'm not saying go out and vote for Obama. I mean, he's a fucking disaster too. I'm saying he's he's more he's more he's more successful. He's probably smarter. I mean, and they have the same the same ideas, and they're basically bought by the same people. So, I mean, that's good. when the neocons say that, I'm like, that makes it fucking worse, dude. <laughs> well, you know, uh, the true. difference too is is like um like you know Romney people keep saying well you know he's self made well you know he he grew up rich his father was self made he was not he grew yeah. up rich you know he was able yeah. to go to these schools he was able to have someone to borrow money from he was able you know he yeah. he had a leg up. And, and, and not just a leg up, but, but he had, yeah, he had contacts, you yeah. know, I mean, I'm sure he worked hard, but, you know, put any relatively intelligent person in his situation and they would do the same. Yeah. Um, yeah. You know, I think about the difference between, like, the martial artists. To get to the point where you're at the Jet Li level, for example, you know, to where you're lethal with, you know, your, your body takes years and years of discipline starting from scratch to get to where I could shoot someone dead and kill them takes you know not that much time I could probably go to the range for a week and be pretty good at shooting someone um, and, and killing them dead and there's a discipline that comes with having to spend years and years getting to where you are um, that you don't pretty well have. put yeah and you know and so so when you're once you reach that level where you could kill someone with your hands, you don't, you know, yeah. because it, you 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 become disciplined. And I guess my my problem with well, both of them is that you know we're handing these two men who have never ever spent a day in in the military, Uh, even spent a day really hanging out with people in the military, don't really know anybody in the military, don't have kids or family in it, being given buttons. And I know people say, well, you know, you don't have to serve in the military to be a good, you know, sick. And I'm like, I don't believe that. (laughs) You know, I mean, there's a reason why George Washington imposed term limits, why he did all this. He lived a disciplined life where he was a soldier and knew the cost of war and, um, you know, uh, in addition to strategy and things like that. But I, I think it's important to know the cost of war. Mm-hmm. It's true, but you can also have a disaster with the, with the military experience, like a George Bush or John McCain, for example. Mm-hmm. I know McCain didn't win, but you know, I mean, uh, he was pushing that warmongering button pretty damn hard when he was he was campaigning. So, well, I think he, it's his party thing too, though. I mean, you can't. The Republicans are so like, fo- you know. I mean, I shouldn't say fake. I do think the politicians are fake. I think the average Republican is not fake about the military because it's their kids that are in it. You know, it's yeah. not the rich politicians' kids that are in the military. No, this is but very. It, yeah, but it's like you know. I mean, it's it's you know all the, everybody else. I mean, it's it's anyway. But it's the lack of discipline, you know, between Obama and, and Romney that I, it sort of scares me, yeah. you know. So, I, mean, I can see it. I can see it. I just think no matter who they're putting down in front of us, regardless of whether the guy has a military experience or not, I, I just think that they're going to wind up doing the same things at this point, you know. Well, yeah, and and you know, it's the the, the fact that the re- Republicans also. I mean, and I'm not, and I'm, not, I'm not an Obama fan, but when he came in, they flat out said they were going to do everything that they could do to stall him out. And yeah. you know, it's the chickens are going to come home to roost. You give like if if Romney wins and Republicans come in, it's going to be just like with Bill Clinton that exactly. second term. You know where, you know. The, the country changes because they see it going too far in one direction, and you're going to see a lot of Democrats, and they're going to stall 
Romney out, and they're going to remember. And the, and the ones that are in there now, when he tries to repeal Obamacare, they're going to filibuster, filibuster. Yep. I mean, it's going to be crazy what he tries to do because, you know, it's, it's now it's just revenge voting on both sides. Yeah, well, let, let me put my conspiracy theorist hat on for a second. Uh, oh, go ahead. Perhaps that's, perhaps that's by design. You know what I mean? That way, I, 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 I would put my hat on with you. I, I agree. It goes very well by design. Just think about it. In order for Obama to have any sort of credibility, he has to at least pretend to be a Democrat somewhat. Like, yeah, I want to pass this, but these guys are blocking me, so what can I do? Mm-hmm. Well, when Romney gets in, oh, man, I really wanted to repeal that, but whoa, he, they wouldn't let me. So that could be easily just, you know, a game to right. make themselves all look relatively decent. But in reality, when they want to pass some unconstitutional bullshit, they all they band together and they Thank do you. it. So. Yeah. <laughs> Amen. No, no, I'm... I'm, I'm I'll put my tinfoil hat on with you. Yeah, I mean, you know, well, they, there was a reason why the stock of insurance companies, you know, surged after Obamacare. This oh, isn't single oh payer. Easily the most corporate fucking bill of all time. Oh, the corporation that hate the health insurance firms. Well, get the fuck out of here. It was a joke, man. <laughs> See, that's right, that, and that it's stuff like that that makes me think there's just no. There's just sometimes I think there's ways to fix it, and and that voting third party is worth it, and we should you know do all we yeah. can. But then sometimes I think you know what, as long as you have a government, you're going to have people um, running it who who have a different agenda than yeah. um, than we think they have. Their 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 interest their 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 motivation is not to make a good place for everybody to live. It's oh. to enrich themselves and use us as property. So yeah. these, these, these I guess that's why I've been on, back on the, the no government kick lately. Yeah, yeah. no, I, I can't blame you for feeling so I, I, I chose this as a topic just to have something to talk about, but now I'm going through this list looking at it and thinking, ah, whatever. I don't want to talk about any of this crap. I mean, it, it's, but everybody knows it. Who is excited about this election besides the very few partisans? And, and honestly, you know, we if you talk to the average person on the street, they don't give a shit. They don't, you know, they, you know, they think, well, maybe we're on you know, I mean, it's like nobody's that excited. Uh, I think because we, we also, you know, we're, we're on PF, right? So we see the people that are actually really into politics, right? And so they yeah. get on and they're very, very hyper yeah. partisan and excited. Like, go yeah. wrong. Right. But most people just are like, okay, great. Oh, Fix the one half yeah. of us and the other. Nobody's exciting anybody, yeah. you know? Yeah. Right. I mean, most of these people are still brainwashed by the guy that they fucking like. Most? I mean, I was, I, w- I was outside today, and I, I was I was coming home, and I, I, there's somebody in my building that I kind of sort of know. So she was talking. I mean, we were talking, and she was talking about something like, you know, Christine Obama on TV talking about the whole, you know, disaster or whatever. I was like, okay. And she was like, uh, yeah, that, that Christie's, you know, he's disingenuous, blah, blah, blah. I was like, okay, fair. And he's like, man, but that Obama, he really cares about everybody. I was like, oh, I'm not even going to say it. <laughs> I give up. I, I, I was like, I, I was like, oh yeah, uh, I, I, I gotta go. See you later. <laughs> you know, if, if, you, if you if you talk to like um, attorneys, right? Not yeah. not. I mean, I shouldn't say attorney. I should say criminal attorneys. Pretty much all of them are voting Gary Johnson just because they can't bring themselves to vote for the other two. Because well, to criminal out. attorneys Yeah, to criminal attorneys, you know, it's it's the NDAA. It's the um it's the Patriot Act. It's these things that have made it so difficult to do your job that nobody else sees but you do. And, you know, uh-huh. it's yeah, I mean all the legal construction of due process and, and our rights is yeah. incredible. Nobody cares. Nobody and, and gives that's one flying fuck. One of the biggest things, and this is why I hate Chief Justice Roberts. I think he is a dick. I hate him worse than Romney. I hate him worse than Obama. He's a dick. I hope somehow this, you know, makes it to his ears. He is a dick. On April yeah. 4th, <laughs> the SCOTUS <laughs> decided yeah. that it's okay to full body cavity search someone, even for reckless driving, because the cops are. Humble. 
we were busy. It, because they're just so busy these days. Yeah. You know, I mean, what if that guy was a terrorist? I mean, that was actually in their fucking oh. argument. What if that guy yeah. that's speeding was speeding because he's a terrorist? <laughs> fucking and I was like, I mean, I was sitting there going, are you fucking kidding me? You know, uh, I mean, the they, why they, they left this little caveat. Well, you know, but we're, but we're going to, they, they did say, well, we'll leave it, you know, let it go for now and leave it to a future court to decide if this was the right decision. Yeah. yeah. Well, why, thank you. Fuck you, thanks so much. Yeah, you know? Yeah. Um, I'm sorry. I know I'm cursing, but this one really pisses my ass off because, it's a you know, <laughs> they, they use it. You know, I mean, the cops are, yeah. you know, and I, and I hate this because I know your dad is a cop, but the cops are, like, so crazy. Okay, I mean, we probably won't get this case, so I'll talk about it because we're probably not going to get it. Um, there was yep. a case um, today in New York, um, a pastor of a church. Yep. <clears throat> he was the youth minister, so he was a young pastor. He, Their church was letting people get food, shelter, whatever, right? Yeah. And they, um, so it was, it was a shelter station. He saw some people across the street looting and went over and tried, you know, because that's what pastors do to try and get them to stop. Well, when the cops came, they didn't ask questions. They just started hitting people and beating them. Yeah. yeah. And, um, That's what you know, they, cops they, do bad. Yeah, and they just started beating them and put them all in the wagon. And the family is calling because they think, well, you know, the whole church thought. Right, the whole the whole church, and so we'll be able to get him out. and And I said to them, and 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 this is why I don't think we're going to get it because I was actually telling them the truth. And I said, you know, it's not going to work like that. It's it's not going to work like that at all, um, because yeah. now you can turn around and sue them because you were an innocent person who got beat. And yeah. so it's not going to just drop off the, the planet. They're going to make you take some kind of violation. They're going to make you take some. And, and they just were like, no, no. I mean, the whole church is going to come. And I'm like, I, I believe you. Yeah. But, you know, I mean, you know, there there's the looter laws. People want to see looters go to jail. And, you know, and, and the cops can't be, they can't have it pinned on them that they beat up a minister. So that they're going to lie and say they saw that guy doing blah, blah. I mean, it's just, that's just how it goes. Yeah. <laughs> because, you know, they can get it so yours. much anyway. What? Yeah. No, when it's well, I mean, word versus yours, forget about it. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, and they've been given so much yeah. leeway. Like, the the whole probable cause, like, you know, uh, that, that guy on the website, um, I, you know, Black Art, you know, he he was telling me how he was going to get this guy off because this is his first criminal case, right? He's been an attorney for a long time. His first criminal case, and he's like, "Well, I'm going to get the guy off because uh, you know they shouldn't, have, the cops shouldn't even been doing this, and you know, and blah blah blah, and Fourth Amendment, and blah blah blah." And I said, "Okay, I'd like to see you do it." You know, oh I, you know, even because, I know better. Even I know better than that. I mean, <laughs> yeah, I'm like, and you're you're voting in a guy who thinks that it's it's okay that we made these laws where due process is stretched, yeah, where know, probable right, cause. Right? Yeah, we're probable cause, yeah. you know, not really necessary anymore. And um, but they, they, you know, they, they, there's nowhere to go. Obama agrees with Romney on it. You know, they both are like, well, you know, terrorism. Aren't you scared? You know, yeah. you could be killed by a terrorist. We need to get rid of, you know, your constitutional rights because terrorists are out there. You know, and and that's my big thing. Like, this is why I hate those two scumbags, both of them. You know, we were, Obama wrote in, like, you know, he was like, I hate the Patriot Act. Don't trade freedom for security. He comes in and he's got all those letter agencies in his face and he crumbles because he just wasn't a strong enough man. He didn't, you know, I, I, this is my, my theory. <clears throat> Yeah. The bureaucracy is so thick, and it doesn't want to go away. And it's both, presidents leave, but those guys stay. They may appoint a new head, but the vice, the, everybody else on down, those are the same guys. And they're sitting there saying, no, we need this, because it keeps their budget. Mm -hmm. We need yeah. this, and, and this and this. And the thing that Obama didn't have was experience fighting bureaucracy. And, and 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 I don't think that Mitt Romney has that either because you know it's it's they're both apparently saying, oh, nobody we need does. Yeah, 
you know, and, and they're saying, oh, well, we need it, you know, well, we need this and we need that. And it's like, and I'm sitting here going, okay, I feel bad about the Trade Center. I feel bad about the Pentagon. But more people are killed every year from lightning strikes. Yeah. Yes, you know, I know. 40 times, 40 it, times the amount of people are killed every, like every month pretty much, driving. Just that's drive. one of those things where it's hard to make the argument because um, you're up against an emotional case. And yep. it doesn't matter how rational or reasonable you are, you are uh, – you're you're fighting their patriotism, their their you know instinct to rise up against anyone who may be um, a, a attacking their country, their nation, their nationalists. Everybody is basically dealing with a bunch of partisan idiots, and there's no way to talk any damn sense out of them. Well, I don't even think it's that. They've just had the shit scared of them that there's terrorists under every rock. You know, you've got the yeah. FBI creating terrorists so they can arrest them later. Uh, don't believe and what? So don't believe you know what I mean? And so, I mean, people are just scared. They're like, Ooh, you know. And I and I do think that's because half the country, you know, is is like, you know, scared of guns. So they think, I can't protect myself. You know, and I can't do this, and and we've we've sort of created a nation of dependence. You know, of yeah. of people that are so afraid of everything, and you know, I mean, you, you guys know I got mugged, right? So I mean, yeah, yeah I could have like just given up my purse. <laughs> you know, um, you want but. Her. <laughs> I wanted my yeah. my purse, you know, and and I also yeah, thought, yeah. God damn it, you know, I mean, it's like, you know, the the more that you just roll over and give over and this and that, the more it just continues to happen, and you know, I mean, it to me it was like it wasn't the it wasn't the money in it, you know. No, it wasn't. It was the purse was had a memory attached to it, and I was like, no, you know, I'm not giving up the purse easy, because because of the memory, you know. But but more people, if we were empowered, like not with these gun control laws where you can't do anything, but just empowered to um, to feel like it's okay to defend yourself, to feel like you have rights, to feel like you are, you know, an individual that the government doesn't give you your rights. See, this is the, the whole problem with the system is people feel like they get their rights from government, not that you are constraining government or that the government, you know, mm-hmm. you're giving them this. You know, it's, it's all twisted around. And so, of yeah. course, they can keep you scared. Of course, they can keep you, you know, um, under a thumb where you think that you need the TSA and you need this and that. You know, I mean, people made fun of Mark Wahlberg, but I totally understood what he meant when he said, you know, if I had been on that plane, it wouldn't have gone down like that. And I, I have talked about this with people who were from either my neighborhood or people in the military. And they were like, you know, the second I saw he, 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 this, this guy was like, you know, box cutters, I take my chance with it rather than see them get to the yeah, cockpit. Exactly. Yeah. You know, and what about women who had hairspray then? And what about this and that? You know, it's because we've made everybody so scared. Yeah. You know, that they think, well, I'll just go along with this. Somebody's got something. You know, so, you know, it's it's like, no. You know, I mean, yeah. it's like, I, I know it sounds like easy to say, but I'm not yeah. so stupid that I think that a guy with, with knives getting into the cockpit is good for me. So I would take my chance. <laughs> you know, it's, it's not guys with a gun. It's guys with, like, you know, <sighs> they, they've got makeshift knives. I've got hair, or back then I would have had hairspray. I would have, <laughs> like, all sorts of shit in my purse. because. Yeah. But we've, we've taken those survival instincts out of people. You know, we've turned them into to, to birds by the feeder. You know, oh, we'll take care of you. Don't don't worry about learning how to take care of yourself. You know, and well, they, they it, someone else to do it for them. That's what it is. You know, they were hoping and praying someone, one person on a plane would go up and do it, and they were all probably thinking the same damn thing, and nobody ever did it. So I mean, yeah. we saw how that turned out, and you this, know, this this complicated system of of trying to keep uh, weapons off the plane is, uh, I mean, you can you can. You can tell by just thinking about it beforehand, before you ever implement a system like that, that it's going to be less effective than just having an armed guy on every plane um, and more expensive and 
Okay, so if it's less effective and more expensive and more comp, and look what it does to the uh, passengers, um, you you go for the uh, armed guy on each plane, yeah. or do nothing. Let the uh, let the ar- let the airlines figure it out. But <laughs> the, the fact that they do that, um, it, 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 I mean, it's. it's if you can't see the, a, a, an alternate alternate agenda, then um, I'm, I don't know what I don't know yeah. what's blinding you. I mean, it, well, it I doesn't. Mean, that's the thing. It, like they're not, moving them to malls now. You knew that, right? That they the TSA got a contract with this one um, chain of malls. TSA, because you know they're uh, not necessarily a government agency. There's this one of this hybrid agencies that I fucking hate, corporatism, and yeah. uh, they have a contract with malls. It is that conditioning. Okay. You know, we've got cameras on every corner. People are conditioned to do it to air flying. You know, they're going out with cops now. And it's like, you know, it's that, like when I first jumped on the call, you were talking about baby steps. It is this incremental, you know, getting people acclimated to seeing this, getting people acclimated to have someone touch you. You know, like yeah. a couple of years ago, this shit wouldn't have, I mean, this would not have fly. Can you imagine a stewardess groping you? No. But they have a uniform, and you feel like you need to have your generals touched. I mean, it's like... Yep, it's exactly. crazy. <sighs> Sorry. This burns me up. It's, uh, just, this is the shit that makes me like, you know, no. I mean, when people are saying, oh, you got to, you know, trying to scare me. Oh, you got to vote for Romney because Obama's the worst thing in the world. I'm like, if he's the worst, great. It'll all collapse around his fucking shoulders. You know, great. Cool. Happen sooner than later, you know. <laughs> it's got to happen sometime. The Titanic's going down, you know. Um, but, you know, I, I don't I don't care because they both want to do the same thing to me. And, and unfortunately, Romney wants to give more money to the people doing that same thing to me. So, I mean, I, you know, I, mm-hmm. whatever. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll oh, yeah, one for a little that's bit. That's it. it. He'll really rock the boat, you know. I mean, same guy. Same things are gonna happen. You know, uh, it's just they get into this weird, you know, sports-like fanatical. Let's just root for this guy because you know he's got an R, he's got a D. Whenever they look at the issues, they they can never, they never even, they're never able to defend. You know, whenever one of us brings it up, they can't defend the record. You can't defend. Like, if I couldn't defend Gary Johnson's point of view or Ron Paul's point of view. I'd be like, man, what the fuck am I doing supporting this guy? But these yeah. guys, they, they don't think like that. It's like, well, you fuck have it, a quote immature position. Yeah. Mike, you have a quote immature position. I used to think like you once upon a time, and then I grew up. You have such an yeah. immature position, and you don't know anybody like that. And then uh, you know, and it's like, okay, you know, I'm just done. You know, whatever. It's funny Jamie. because I used to think like them, and then I grew up. Um, yeah, yeah, me too. There's. A- <laughs> Other things on this list, um, you know, both support increasing deficit spending. We know that. Um, both support um, keeping the income tax. I, we can't even start on that. Uh, no. What? That be a uh, where's the income tax? Oh, my God. Um, economic stimulus. Both support economic stimulus. Of course, that's been filled yeah. very well, and everybody believes it's necessary. Um, Bailouts, Tom. <laughs> Government intervention oh, in the auto industry. Oh, that we forgot about that years ago. What? No, I mean I actually think most people were pretty angry that the quote "too big to fail" got bailed out. Yeah. At the time, I mean, they're, still getting, they're still getting bailed out. They're still getting bailed out. What is QE3? Yeah. That's a bailout. It's, that's a fucking bailout. They're still getting bailed out. <laughs> I mean, it hasn't stopped. Most people I knew, most people I knew were upset about it. That's true. Oh. Um. It's still happening. Yeah, I mean, they're printing up a bunch of money, buying all their horrible assets for, you know, full price, and then at the time they're buying it for what it was originally worth. I mean, it's still a bell. Yeah, the thing, too, is if they had done a Marshall Plan for Americans, taken that same amount of money, divvied it up among the 320 million Americans, or just adults, right, and then gave them money to spend, it would have boosted the economy more than what they did with the top-down approach. Yeah. Sure. Because yeah. you have no economy without people spending. Give them money, they'll spend, you know, and, and they yeah. could have done that and didn't do it, you know. And so that said, you know, just a lot to me. The, the, well, yeah, I mean, they they have, that's the problem. They, they never intended whatever, to, whatever, to, to whatever fix the, anything. The stated goal is, is obviously not the real goal. 
Well, yeah. not, it never is. Yeah. No, no. I mean, what they're doing right now, especially, it's a two-ended, it's a double-edged sword, because not only is it still really a bailout, when they print all this fucking money, it's going to be inflation, too. I mean, it, it, yeah. <laughs> not only are they getting the money, they're also fucking everyone else's dollar, especially the middle class, the poor, the working class. So, and even the yeah, I mean, class, your, your house rich isn't worth classes, anything I mean, because of this. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, uh, I mean, fuck, I mean, uh, it's hard to, to to buy food. I mean, it, it's certainly a lot more expensive than it was even a couple of years ago. So, I mean, and God knows mm-hmm. fucking how bad it's going to be when this QE3 thing is done. I mean, they're printing $40 billion a month and endless, for an endless amount of months until they deem it's all right. Yeah, it's good to go. I mean, who knows how the fuck it's going to even look when this is all said. Huh? Yeah. Um, it's a mess. <laughs> Most I, you know, it's choice, like I, although Romney is a plopper, now claims to be pro-life. I, I, I just saw uh, some some people talking about um, saying that Catholics are um, can't be Catholics or can't remain Catholics if they vote for Obama because he. he well, that's Blackrock because he's yep. just they, you know he speaks for the church you know. Sorry. <laughs> well, you right, know, but this, Romney the is, supports that, killing babies too, doesn't he? Oh, oh yeah, not yeah. Anymore, right? He, he did. He was part of Sarah Cycle, but he, their religion doesn't believe that the soul comes into the baby until after it's born. So his quote conversion is a political conversion. You know, there's a yeah. reason why Catholics believe what they believe, and that's because when they think the soul comes in, you know, and 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 whatnot. Wait a minute, Mormons um, don't think that the soul comes in until after it's born. I didn't know that. Yeah, yeah. That's why they didn't. They that's a that doctrine? church does not. Yeah, that church does not. It's the way they think of where souls are and this and that. I mean, it's this is a whole other yeah, discussion but, on religion. But I, yeah. I I studied it for a long time because I, I uh, dated a Mormon once, and um, so it was you know well somebody was coming out of the Mormon church and he was telling me the stuff and I was like what you know he was like so crazy, but um, you know I mean well relatively and. Um, so, you know, the Catholic position is, is based off of, of that. But black work with is, well, you can't be, you know, Catholic if you're blah 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 And I'm like, okay, you know, well, I'm glad the Pope yeah. told you well, that, black work, because, you know, know everybody that's, knows. That's, <laughs> the Pope put up, puts up with a, a lot. You, you, can, you know, you can I'm like Catholic going, okay, you, you not... I, I hate this, and I get into a fight with them every time, and they piss me off because, like, you know, who are you to speak for the church of one billion people? One billion, you know, and you're telling me that i got to vote this way or else, you know. I mean, not that I was going to vote for Obama, but I'm sorry, you know. He's not the, you know, Black Works, not the Pope. You know, I'm sorry, you know. Not that I would necessarily listen to Benedict. I, I was a John Paul II fan. But, um, you know, it's it's just to me it's like you know you can't speak for that it's just another version of the scare tactic you know him and his oh my god his my whole life was ruined because of obama and i'm like well, what's the <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, yeah it's funny you know I, and and I it's think it's like up a lot of other problems a lot of other reasons he went into <laughs> he went into building defect law Okay. Yeah. And of course, when the housing market goes, which happened, started to happen under Bush, you know, it was coming down then. Of course, you're not going to have a job. You know, the bubble was burst by by the Fed. Yeah. They raised interest rate, and that was a Keynesian bubble. It was a Keynesian. The the Treasury Department and and the Fed and all these people worked together to do the cyclical shit. And of course, you know, he's in the wrong industry. You know, and then yeah. he's like all jealous because you know I'm doing well, and and he's like, well, I'm gonna go to criminal law now. And I'm like, yeah, but when the economy comes back and people have jobs, I'm not gonna be doing as well. What the hell are you doing? You know, why yeah. can't you just long term plan? I mean, you know, he he castigates other people, you know, like the people on welfare for not planning well, but he didn't plan well. Yeah, he sounds like he's you a hot mess too. Yeah. He is a hot mess. And, you know, and I feel so bad for the client that he has, you know, the oh, <laughs> client because I'm like, oh, he's going to screw that. That's why oh, I kept God. saying, well, you know, I'm not, I'm not giving advice or anything, but some attorneys might want to do this for that kid. <laughs> you know, <laughs> like, yeah. well, some attorneys might want to do this. 
Yeah, I'm not even in law. He sounds he sounds like a, he'd be, he'd make a terrible uh, attorney. That sounds like a disaster. I mean, he's like so well the Fourth Amendment. I'm like, what year are you living in? Because this certainly isn't you know in the '90s anymore, dude. You've, you you know this is post Patriot Act. What's Fourth Amendment? What's yeah. Fourth Amendment? No, <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> he probably supported the erosion of it too. So I mean, and then, the, and then he goes, "Well, I don't even think they read him the Miranda." I said, "Yeah, really." Yeah. Ooh, you're going to yeah. get him off for that? And he's like, yeah. Okay. And I'm like, you believe that, right? And he's like, well, yeah. And I'm like, okay. All right, you keep believing that. <laughs> okay, yeah. so can, can cops really pretty much do whatever they want then? I mean, yeah. is there anything yeah. that they get in trouble for? Oh, no. You would have no. to catch okay. them on video tape. Yeah. Yeah. It does happen that's, that's sometimes. That's what I figured. Um, I mean, they, I've I got, seen them do crazy I got censored. stuff. I, mean, I, I spent... I spent 24 hours in jail for for getting snotty because I was just like, oh, my God. And um, I said, because this guy was lying. This cop was totally lying. And I, and, and nobody's like, you know, I mean, any t- attempt to, to, you know, call bullshit, you know, the, the, and the judge is just like looking at him like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I said, you know, is this Jesus Christ? We can't like, you know, um, <laughs> this guy. And then I, I, I did my time. That's my my. I did some time. Is that any similar to the relationship that Congress has with uh, the Supreme Court? I mean, the, does the Supreme Court treat what Congress does the way that these other courts yeah, treat much. what cops do? Is that, is that kind of what we're seeing here? Yeah, I mean, uh, you know, but, uh, but I'll be oh, honest no. with you. Like, um, I mean, there are – in New York's different. New York is very different. The judges are picked for a certain reason. The cops are picked. I mean, it, New York is a strange, strange animal. Um, you go to a place like Virginia, and a lot of people don't like Virginia because it's a red state, but, but I'm going to give you a bunch of good examples. Um, they, they are doing it right. Their court system, I mean, you know, the, the penalties are very strict, right, if you, if you break the law. But the court systems are incredibly fair, and the judges are very independent. And the cops are not Nazis. And it's just a different environment. And, and so there is a court culture wherever you go. And, this and, that. and you know the Brandon Raub case, that famous one where the FBI came down and blah, blah, blah you know, and, and intimidated him, threw him in for a psyche eval for 90 days, which was their way of scaring him and incarcerating him illegally. You know, they took it to a Virginia judge, and the judge was like, this is BS. This is trodden on his constitutional rights. He's out. Yeah, wow. that that doesn't happen in New York. New York is horrible. No, man. that would not happen. Horrible, horrible no. stuff. The cops would are always I mean, they're the law. They, you know, if you get your ass whooped, you know, just put your ass up. You put your hands up to probably say, you know, you were assault, resisting arrest or something. Like, I mean, right. even if you were catching right. a woman for no reason, it's... You can't even can't. ask the police officer, like, um, why do you need to see my identification? That's considered resisting yep. arrest. Oh, that's, you, that's a horrible I, idea. I could, do, I could do a whole podcast just on police, yeah, yeah police brutality, yeah. police, you know. And, 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 it's, and it, it, it comes to for the, the Patriot Act, the NDA, worst thing that could ever happen. Because they empower oh God, these no. agencies to, to do what they were already doing, but, but now it's legal for them. And... You know, to an extent. But, but because people keep saying, well, I'm not a criminal, so you know what? This isn't going to happen to me. Well, you know what? More and yeah. more, you know, like, like the pastor that had the yeah. shit beat out of him today, you know, more and more innocent mm-hmm. people are seeing what happens when you say, okay, I'll just forget yeah, about you know, it. I'll give over the wheel. Here, you take it. You know, I mean, it's, they'll right. see. You know, they'll see. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I had my brother got profiled for no reason. Like, boy, he got he got stopped, he got harassed, he got taunted, made fun of his illness, and then when my brother raised it, taunt, now mind you, he got he got stopped for apparently the description was a five ten white guy with a sweater. He had marijuana on him, something like, oh Jesus Christ, that, that that's a fantastic description. First of all, but they pull him over, they 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 start saying you got pot or whatever. He's like, no. <laughs> He's like, well, we're going to search you. We're going to frisk you. And he was like, all right, go do it. So I guess they didn't expect it. They were like, oh, okay. So they kept going with him. And then eventually they started making fun of the illness. Like, I, I think I said this on a podcast before or whatever. Saying, oh, you're, um, 
he gives you a cystic fibrosis. You, know, you didn't get on the you on the sports team. He's like, no. He's like, well, you didn't get on the sports team because you got cystic fibrosis. Because you're smoking pot or whatever. My brother's like, no. I get cystic fibrosis. And then they just kept pushing and pushing. And then my brother just raised his voice. You know, like, you, you do one more thing. We're going to fucking, you know, take you. We're going to yeah. order arrest. We feel threatened. I'm like, my brother's fucking five, ten, hundred twenty pounds. Why didn't you call me? <laughs> you should have called me. You should have been like. I didn't know you back then. This was a while ago. Wow. You know, this was like three, four years ago. And I'm like, yeah. and, and my brother knew he was, he was, he was, he was probably going to be in some shit. So he said, because my father was dying at that point. He, he was, he was a detective, a first grade detective and he was dying. So he said, yeah, you might not want to, because he thought he was going to get hit. He's like, you might not want to do anything, guys. My father, he, he, he's sick, he's dying, and he's a detective right now. So you lay a hand on me, and, he, you know, they're going to make it. You know, my family my family has a lot of cops. It's kind of funny that I hate cops, because I got, like, fucking two aunts that are cop my father. But I see it. You know, I'm not going to, you know, stand up for cops. Just, you know, if you, they're douchebags, they're douchebags. They're, they're my family's awesome. made up of cops. It is they're what it is. good you know? ones. I mean, oh, and I try yeah. to give them props when I see them. Like, I will say yeah. very loudly around their cop buddies, wow, you're a really great person. Yeah. How did you end up yeah. a police officer? Yeah. <laughs> and they'll just, like, the other ones are like, yeah. Yeah. But, I mean, you know, and, and, the, and, and you know what they'll say? They'll say, you know what, I know. I mean, like, the, the good cops are like, yeah. I know, I know. Yeah. I mean, you know, they'll agree with you. They're like, it's out of control. Yeah, yeah. No, I mean, I used to get in uh, fights with my family members who cops about it. I was like, listen, dude, you're fine, but they're not. I'm sorry. I know you got a weird fraternity or whatever the fuck, but I'm calling it the way I see it. I don't care, you know? But my brother managed to get out of an ass whooping for being taunted and threatened. You know, he was going to get catch the ass whooping when he was the one getting stopped for no reason. He was getting taunted. He was getting threatened. Here he is, 5'10", 120 pounds soaking wet with nothing on him, and he's a threat to two grown men. I'm like, yeah, okay, really? Well, you well, know, I mean, no, think they, about the guy that, I mean, but but see, this is part of the, the, the whole system where they, you've been told that, that the cops aren't from being peace officers to local law enforcement. And yeah. the culture has changed to where, you know, you cannot question them anymore. And yeah. they're not even allowed to take a shoving, you know. Like, the, you've got uh, Don Glock and oh, his butt buddy, um, Blues Man, who were on that thread with a guy with one arm one leg on the same side, on his left side, lost his right arm, right leg, had an ink pen, and the cops put two bullets in his brain. Yeah. And Crazy. they're justifying it because they're like, well, no cops should be hurt. And I'm like, screw you. Yes, they should. You yeah. know, I mean, not kill. It, but you, it but bothers hello? me so much that, yeah, yeah. It bothers me so much that a cop can, you know, he can beat the fuck out of a dude pretty much for no reason. No, he got his paid suspension. Yeah, we came down hard on him or whatever. But if a civilian, even if they're in the right, does as much as touch a cop, really, or raise their voice, they might wind up with a few bullets in their that chest. Was, and if they don't, they'll yeah. get a hundred different charges put on them. It's fucking, I'll tell you, if I, if I meet my end earlier, I can go to prison, it's because I'm going to fucking left hook the shit out of one of these fucking cops. <laughs> I'll oh, just I'll, let I'll you guys you know early. <laughs> if I'm, if I'm not dead, off, <laughs> if they don't yeah. fucking put like 46 bullets in my fucking ass before that happens, You'll be like, I have oh, early. Sorry. <laughs> I got a lot of if, if that does happen, because I, I, I do start study mixed martial arts, I, I will lay that guy out at the very least. <laughs> I might get killed after, but at least not. But in all seriousness, no. I have no, about no, ten no, cops no. in my family. I have about ten cops in my family. And, you know, most people have a certain bias. You know what I mean? If Like, if yeah. it's a racial issue, if you're all white, you know, some people tend to side, or if you're all black, or if you have, you know, all cops in the family, you have, like, a, a tendency to side with yeah. cops. Like, But I've seen so much crap that that doesn't... First of all, it's not really in my personality, but also because I've seen so much that it just, I don't care. I mean, I could have literally all my family members be cops, which they pretty much are for the most part. It doesn't matter. I've seen so much, that there's so much stuff that happens in New York. It doesn't, if you have any shred of integrity, you have to automatically know that the system is fucking 
totally wrong. It's broken. But, you know, but that's so much part crap. of the, it's unbelievable. the change of culture yeah. and in the police yeah. state and, you know, the, the, the consolidation of power. Like, you know, I mean, it's, it's, you know, the FBI has grown. What they can do has grown. What DHS is in control of has grown. What local law enforcement has is grown. And people are so willing to just say, okay, okay, sure, mm-hmm. all right. They just... I mean, I, I've had a friend. Yeah, I, tell me if this is illegal. I'm pretty sure it's not. But one of my two friends were traveling together, and one of them had like a twenty dollar metro card or something, right? Mm-hmm. But the other one was out of money or whatever. So he says, "All right, I'm gonna swipe myself in." And it's not like they went in together. He's like, "I'm gonna swipe myself in, and I'm gonna give you my metro card, and you're gonna swipe yourself." In. Um, it wasn't one of those student. It wasn't a student metro card. It was nothing, nothing gimmicky, no half off, whatever, because of a disability. It was just I bought it twenty. I put twenty dollars and I got my metro card. The cop fucking comes over him, and I don't know how the hell he did this, but he said you're not allowed to do that, and he gave him a fine for it, like a twenty dollar fine or some shit. Uh, he yeah. gave him like a court summons or something. It's insanity. He didn't break the law. <laughs> He's yeah. like, you know, I feel like right fine, so fuck it, I'm right, and you fine, and, and you can't do it. You can't do anything about it. Nothing. No, uh-uh. no, no, you can't. No, no. You I mean. Can't. Yeah, I, I, the justice system is, I, I, there's no way you'd be able to fight that, you know? You're, worried, you're not going to see shit. Romney or, or Obama either do anything about it. I mean, Obama, for all of his community organizer crap, we live under a worse police state than we did under Bush. You know yeah. what I mean? I mean, it's, it's, it's just an accelerated process, you know what I mean? It's an accelerated yeah. process. It's not necessarily that the new guy is worse than the old guy because the old, if the new guy now, who most people deem as the worst, like most people who would say Obama's implemented the biggest police state, he's just been able to run with what he's had already. I mean, he, he had a bill on the foundation George Bush built and with Bill Clinton. Yeah. You know, it's a continuing process that whoever the new guy is is going to be the one who's pushing us further and further because they're just going to build on this massive groundwork with these that these fucking idiots have laid before. You know, yeah. that's what it is. So if Obama gets, if he doesn't get reelected and Romney gets in, he's going to pass more and more bullshit. And then when Romney's out, whoever comes in is going to keep eroding our rights and it's going to just keep going and going. It's a mess. And, and something needs to put, something's got to give. I, I mean, say, yeah, as long as you're not doing anything wrong, you have yeah. nothing to worry about. It's crazy. No, it's it's not, not true, true. which, which they, yeah. that's most people it, should know that's by now, that, but that's not true. Well, um, that's what that bad mother says. He's always like, well, case, this why, don't you, to me. why don't you just write laws that say, uh, that repeal all the amendments? And, and yeah. well, the first 10. Yeah, or, yeah might as well. I mean, why, 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 what, do you, what do you even need a constitution for? You, you know? Yeah. Well, and I hate well, how I, it's now I, all of a sudden, I, I if you like the, the Constitution, a, you're crazy. That's, it's getting that way. And, uh, yeah, no, but, the, the, but that's what they're starting. Like, yeah, haven't you who, heard who, them? What? They're like, oh, you're just like, you know, like people are like, oh, you know, you people that love the Constitution. Blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, why wouldn't we love the Constitution? Who are, you talk, are you talking about the neocons who are going around saying that Yeah, Yep, yep, yep. Yeah. Yeah, they're for the Constitution, except when they're against it, pretty much. Right. They're just you know, for economic... Except when you economic. need it to defend your, your, your uh, delusion of, a, of a, uh, a, a democracy restrained by law. Um, right. Yeah, they'll use it when we get into the abstract argument, uh, asking them to justify the existence of, of, of the, this monster they love. But um, well, no, you when, know, I mean, when it I, I'm, I'm firmly anything practical that oh, they, you guys are. Yeah, go ahead. Mm-hmm. No, I mean, I'm just, I, I agree with you. I just, I'm firmly convinced that they really don't care about small government. They just want less taxes. And oh, cool. so that, yeah. I, I could blow, I mean, my brain wants to explode, and that's why I get really ugly sometimes. And I'm like, you're not for small government. Small government yeah, means no. less power. <laughs> less I power. I call them on that, like, every time. I, I just have to. It's, I, I feel compelled every time they bitch about small government. I'm like, you fucking neocon. Because <laughs> at least fucking liberals, they don't talk about 
They, they, they say, oh, you never yeah, say nothing about they don't try to use it as a... Okay, yeah. man. They say, yeah, big government. This is fantastic. What am I supposed to say? You support big government. It's like, yeah, I do. <laughs> you know? But the fucking neocons run around to go small government this, small government that, or whatever. And I remember right. I was on a right. debate with, uh, what's that cat's name? Uh, Don Glock the other day. I, I forget what the hell said it was. It was a few weeks ago, but we went back and forth or whatever. And he's, I, you know, he's talking small government or whatever. I, I call him on it, you know, after small government, supporting fucking Omni, you know, all that type of shit. And then he says, and, you know, of course, I take Ron Paul and Gary Johnson as people who are. And he's, and then he calls Ron Paul a kook or whatever the fuck, right? I'm yeah, like, so he, he's, he's, no, he's no Ronald Reagan, he says. So I say, okay. So here you are talking about small government. And you got the nerve to say someone like Ronald Reagan is more small government than Ron Paul? Is that is that even a serious statement? How do I even approach that statement? You know what I mean? The guy's oh, mind is so Ronald warped Reagan's at that Jesus. point. Ronald Reagan he wasn't is, even small. He is Jesus he to those guys. He is Jesus. You know, it's like... <laughs> If you look at the, the list of things he did, he wasn't small government. He, he wasn't small government at all. I mean, they just, they were, they admired the guy. They worshipped the guy. You know, he was a little before my time. I mean, I was pretty much, he was pretty much totally before my time. He wasn't even alive. But, if now you look he at the, did bring down uh, uh, tax rates a lot, I think. Yeah. Um, that's why they like it. I remember that, right? I think. Yeah, but I that, think it that doesn't start it. and end with that, you know. It doesn't start and end with that. And I'm, you it know, does I mean, for them. That's right. that's yeah, what I they mean well. when they mean small government. They mean taxes. They don't really mean yeah. small government because well, when you actually yeah. then, query them, they don't. <laughs> yeah. Well, well, I mean, but taxes, then, even, they, but then they're not even that better on taxes. serious about that. If they were real, really serious about cutting taxes, they would get yeah. behind things like the fair tax. Or yeah. you know something, something. These yeah. these two and three percent cuts. With well, yeah. but the average person, the average neocon, it's even the around average that, neocon, point, that that seventy percent or whatever it is, it was up to ninety percent at the top bracket for a while. Um, well, that, I mean, that, I, I agree that with you, less but revenue. I, so yeah, I yeah no. No, I, I agree, but I think that the average Republican, if you bring up the fair tax, they're fine with it. It's the Republican politicians that they don't want to play that shit. They don't want a fair tax. They don't want this and that. I mean, the average Republican, they would be happy with it. Right. No, they, want a system, they want a system where the super wealthy get some sort of, you know, they, they get out on it and and then the poor get some sort of welfare or whatever, and everybody else gets raped by it. That's the type of tax book they want, yeah. you know? They want loopholes yeah. for the millionaire. They want to take from the upper middle class, the middle class, the working class, give to the super, super poor, and they want to keep that status quo. That's what they want. And they're doing uh, a good job. I mean, <laughs> you know, and, and the, the thing is, is like, I'm in, I'm in the total um, get screwed bracket because of how much I make. I mean, I'm yeah. not a millionaire, so I don't have the deductions of millionaires, but I'm in the yeah. upper middle you know, class, right? Sure. And I mean, I wouldn't mind that. Like, I to me, one man's welfare is another man's Department of Homeland Security, right? So yeah. I sit there, and my blood boils when I think of my taxes going to fund. Like, I'm paying the government to fuel me up in the airport. Yeah. I'm paying the government mm -hmm. to put cameras on every street corner. I'm yeah, paying the government to have military bases all over the world. You know, yeah, I'm well, paying some person with stuff. a ground strike, you know, some innocent person. I mean, yeah, I mean, yeah. middle class to and the so upper middle class. Some work. people are bitching about welfare. I'm sitting there going, I'd rather have every fucking freeloader in the country on welfare than have CTV cameras up everywhere and people, you know, in TSAs in the airport. I mean, everybody's got their own pet peeves. And, yeah, like, I'm not fond of welfare because I've seen how horribly run the welfare system is. But in my line of work, it affects me not at all. You know, yeah. uh, what affects me is, you know, the NDAA and the Patriot Act. You know, that makes my life difficult. <laughs> so, yeah. I'm like, I and, care and, less. Yeah, and that's the problem when trying to reason with neocons is they'll call you a liberal for that statement alone, which is ridiculous, but they will, mm -hmm. you know? Well, I know. They're all saying, well, Yeah, they're fucking well, stupid. They're not that I love oh, welfare. Yeah. I think oh, every fucking agency on the planet should be cut. You know, I, I think they all need to be cut. 
I'm totally with you there. I get what you're trying to say, but they'll they'll find a way to twist that by you saying, "Oh, that's worse than that." You know what I mean? Thinking you're yeah. trying to make an excuse for it. I'm just saying the way yeah. they push. Of course, I totally get. What I you're mean, saying. they can call me I a liberal totally, all they want. I really, I, yeah. I could care less yeah. because my okay, opinion. Okay. I mean, my world doesn't revolve around Don Glock. You know, so um, you know. Yeah. His his opinion of me, you know, the, it's funny. Okay, like I'm a huge um, fan of, of going, yeah. yeah, of going to drag shows, right? And I've, I've I love and worship RuPaul. And when I was watching him, and he's a very wise philosopher, probably because he was a very feminine gay guy that was picked on his whole life. But he was trying to counsel one of the people that was having a hard time with everybody picking on them. And he goes, you know, he said, other people's opinion of me is like none of my business. Yeah. And that really stuck in yeah, my head. I heard and I that said, yeah, that's funny. Yeah. And I, I think about that all the time that like, you know, I need to, to realize that their opinion of me really in my business, they're not in my worldview. Yeah. I don't care what they think. Like, you know, I mean, I care what like, you know, people that I care about think. Like, I care what my mom thinks, you know. I mean, sure, her opinion is probably none of my business either, but I care what she thinks. You know, yeah. some random dude on the Internet calling me a liberal fuck, I don't care. You know, I mean, I know who I am. I mean, that's not shaking well, me and me. Okay, call me a liberal. Call me a bitch. I don't care. You know, in a very real <laughs> you know? sense, you are a liberal, right? I'm a classical liberal. I'm not a Democrat right. liberal. Um, but no, as far no. as you, when you talk to a Jeffersonian liberal, yeah, I'm a Jeffersonian liberal. Yeah. Sure. Yeah, yeah. No, I mean, I, I totally, I don't care what they think either. I'm just trying to say the way these idiots twist and turn, and the Democrats will do the same thing. You know? Oh, they do, they do, yeah. I, I mean, I you're, little... you're, um, you're a right wing to them, right, because you don't yeah, want to fund yeah. welfare, so you're a right wing. And and I think somebody thought you were like a Christian or something, and you had to explain that you weren't. But, um, no, no, you so know, I, hate, I was a Christian hater or something. I said, hey, listen, yeah, yeah. I don't have a problem with anybody who worships anything as long as they don't influence policy. I don't care what you do. And personally, I do believe no, in the no, guy. No, I don't know what that it's on you for because you were right. I guess you were right wing, so you were not like a religious nut. I mean, it's oh, I don't feel, I feel like I, Yeah, right. anyone who's yeah. read my post for any amount of time knows I'm not a freaking Christian or whatever. I mean, I'm, yeah. I, I'm raised Catholic, but I don't. I believe in God. I don't believe in organ. I think organized religion is a tool that's been used to manipulate people. That's another, and that doesn't work for everybody, of course. But if you look at all the wars where a lot of them have religious roots, you know what I mean? Organized religious roots. Or at least that's the way they manipulate the masses yeah. to do it, you no. know? But well, it, it, it the, has. It has been to manipulate yeah. people. It's, it's, yeah. The thing that bothers me a little bit, a lot, I guess, is is that so many people believe that um, the Christianity was invented as a tool um, to manipulate people. And that's uh, a, you, you can verify that that's false historically. Right. Yeah. Um, well. Yeah, Christianity wasn't, but I mean, like this. This is a really interesting, I guess, spin or whatever. Because I, I was talking to somebody about it, and they were like saying, "Well, Christianity was like we're serve, you know, usurp these pagan religions and borrow this and borrow that, you know, for the Catholic Church." And I was like, "Well, actually, no. Christians were this little weird Jewish hippie sect that were minding their own business, and Rome, a pagan Rome, decided they'd be useful." <laughs> you know, and yeah. usurped them and applied their pagan culture onto this little teeny sect of people. And yeah. it really is, it's the might of Rome. You know, it is that. And I, I find that, you know, it's like if you really think about it, that that's the case. They were minding their own business, doing their own yeah. little thing. Right. Yeah. Yeah. And, and no, so, I mean, a lot yeah. of religions aren't, like, Develop to manipulate. It's just people find a way to use it they, to manipulate. You know, that, that's absolutely. Well, every every war has been about power and money. I mean, you could yeah. say it's about yeah. religion. You could say it's about communism. Uh, you could say it's yeah. about you know freedom. You know, or they the, hate us for freedom or whatever. The, those are the excuses <laughs> they use to yeah. manipulate the people into it. It's never what it's actually about. You know, these conflicts aren't actually predicated on, on religion or communism or whatever, but they use it to, to, to manipulate the masses into thinking that's the case. And that's my biggest gripe with organized religion. It's not the religion itself, it's the people that use it to manipulate and the people that get manipulated by it. That, that's my piece, you know, but that... Well, the right. politics is the new religion, that, religion, you know? I mean, oh, that's, yeah. that's the thing, like, when, when religion started, like, after they sort of killed religion, um, now it's like, well, what, what can we use now? 
And so now it's yeah. the fear of, you know, it's, it's, it's politics. It's, it's this, you know, it's, uh, you know, those damn Democrats and those damn Republicans. And, I mean, you know, they, they're, mm-hmm. yeah. you know, they're yeah, they'll fight they something. Like it's one thing over against another. It's one, yeah. it's, it, 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 it's the Hegelian dialectic. It's, 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 yeah. it just kind of morphs and, and, and takes, manifests itself in, in a different way as, as yeah. culture changes. But it's all the same yeah. attitude. It's all the us, it's us, the good guys, uh, again, them, whoever they may be at the time, the bad guys. And yeah. we're going to justify whatever we do because of that. Yeah, it's silly. It's well, silly. And it's it, creating it the, the worst argument. You know, you have to have a weaker argument to to, to frame it. And I, I should re I should resurrect that one, but it always gets derailed by trolls because people. It's almost <laughs> I, this sounds horrible. It's almost too highbrow for people. But it's like you know, you you try to do something and then it turns into Ron Paul sucks. I don't care what I do. It's always Ron Paul sucks at the end of the day. Yeah. I, I, yeah. I could talk about my toenails, and it would be about Ron Paul sucking. I mean, it's just you know, whatever. Yeah. No. Well, I don't have anything. Subs- yeah, I hate that when I say that. It's annoying. It's usually directed towards you too. It's anno- It's very. It's disrespectful and ignorant because it's like, well, you're not actually refuting anything. You're just throwing insults. You know, how about you actually try to address what she's saying? You know, it's just frustrating. Frustrating yeah. to read. But it's on both well, sides, I mean, you know. But see, like, I, I've sort of gotten him to where, like, he's less, like, he actually was apologized to me the other night and has been nicer. Um, but, you know, it's like, I, it's, I have to be manipulative about it, and I don't like that, that attorney side of me. Um, sure, I can get people to do what I want them to do, and I, I don't like that. But he was disrupting too much of the stuff that I did. So um, yeah. I pulled the girl move on him where I, I pretended like I was really hurt. And um, yeah. and then it was like, oh, I'm so sorry, and all that stuff. But <laughs> well it's played. so hard because <laughs> I'm a woman, and we get hurt all the time. <laughs> yeah. So no, I mean, I guess if you got the strength, you might as well use it, right? No. No. Well, I mean, you know, it's like, but. Every- God, I could just go into to, to, to girl culture. I mean, like the thing that I guess I responded. What? No, the, okay. So, so you've got group. Both of both Obama. Back to the original topic. Both Obama and Romney focus yeah. on groups over individuals. That is why they ultimately are not a different choice. That is ultimately yep. why they are the same because they see groups. The yep. Ron Paul, the Gary Johnson, even the Jill Stein see individuals. Yep. Yeah. And, you know, right. yeah, and, and that's that, the only way that we will survive and thrive as a, as a people, as humans, is to go back to seeing people as individuals because it's yeah. this sort of creating the hive mind, creating groups that is destructive and scary and frightening and, and all of that. And, and so we have to go back to this. And, and that's why when it comes to, like, because, I mean, you know, of the three of us, I'm a minority group. Quotes, you know what I mean, how somebody would categorize even though we're half the population. But we're, we're a voting block. And it, it bothers me that you've got the Republicans saying, well, women are moving away from Romney. And, and the liberals say, well, Romney can't help women. And Barack Obama. And I'm sitting here going, hey, okay, I don't know what goes on in your head, right? But most of the day, 99.9% of the day, I don't go around thinking womanly thoughts. You know, I don't consciously think I'm, I'm a female until I'm approached in a way by, by a male in, in, in a male-female way, right? I'm just me. In my own head, I'm me. I'm not like, gee, a woman would look at that like this. Or we women yeah. think of this like this. I'm just me, you know, with my own set of interests. I'm me that likes right. Skyrim. I'm me that I likes, know. you know, this. And that. Yeah. yeah, you know. You know, you know what, though? It, um, the, it's, mm-hmm. it's not just the politicians. Everybody, yeah. most people uh, think of other people in, in uh, group blocks. Um, yeah. You know, it's one thing to, to label a philosophy, and, and that's actually, that helps because you can understand it. Uh, you can understand things better when you label them, but it, it, 
it's it's as if most people really only have room for for like two categories for everything yeah. in their head. Yeah. And that's what you get all these. That's why you get the 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 liberals calling you um, XL like a, a, a Christian conservative, assuming you're a Christian conservative. They've got this <laughs> easily the most absurd. They've thing got this block, and everybody <laughs> everybody who 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 speaks this way is is in that block, and yeah, and. And the same yeah, thing no, with the I other side. They they if they yeah. see everything in this. They just bifurcate the whole population into this yeah. into these two categories, and, yeah, and, and, and never really. And you're right. You're right. Further. And, and they don't really need to. They don't. They don't. It's it's it, the everybody on popular media does the same thing. They, they that's yeah. and it's as if you have to. Well, you have to get away well, from that for a while to be able to see things in a more. Uh, you have to turn way. it off. Yeah, you you have to turn it off. And and the thing that that sort of and I'll go back to the women thing because everybody's fighting fighting for the women vote, right? And the, the Republicans are like, oh well, Democrats see women from the neck down, we see them from the neck up, blah blah blah, you know. And everybody's fighting for this women vote, and it, it's that irony again of they don't see them as individuals, but but the whole thread's about women as a voting bloc. And my 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 contribution, as always, was I don't want to be seen as a female um, when it comes in terms of politics. I don't want, you know, I don't. I, I want, like, you know, if, if there's a guy that I'm grooving on, I want him to see me as a female. But yeah, if, yeah. In, in, any other, in any other situation, no, not at all. You know, I mean, yeah, not, not one day. Well, you know, with the view you hold, it would help us if you uh, were seen as a female. Uh, get yourself <laughs> out there. And, and yeah, I mean, I, mean I, I know it sounds, it sounds horrible because Typically there's not enough women. Yeah, I know. But but I know. <laughs> but the, see that that bothers me too because it's like you know it's it's um you know I don't want to be token you know <laughs> like a token female of the minarchist and anarchist. Yeah, you, know? <laughs> but, you have this but strict just, uh, uh, ethical system that would that that would violate yeah. right. <laughs> but but you know but it's but you're right though I mean it's like I you know because I'm I can't be the only one and and I was talking to um. You know, that's real about this because he was like, he goes so, because I was talking about the, because I'm sort of trying to talk him into doing these with us, right? And he goes, so it's all these guys and you. And I said, yeah. And he goes, you don't ever feel like you're, you know, and I said, no. I said, because I'm not a female on the call with them. I'm just, you know, I'm just me and I probably talk more because I'm a female. But, um, no, I mean, you know, nobody's asking me my female opinion of this, you know. Yeah. <laughs> what are you saying, you know. But, it, you know, but at the same time, I mean, it's, it's um, I, I see what you're saying, you know, because I, I think it, it could, a lot of women sort of feel like I do, but I'm, I'm being very hesitant to say this, but there are women like me who sit there and think, you know, I didn't have to fight the man to get where I was. Not yeah. that there aren't women that aren't fighting the man to get there, but I really didn't, you know? And as far yeah. as, and I'll be honest, like when they say, well, you know, it's like the liberal thing is women have to fight and they have to do this and they have to do that. And I'm like going, but you're also forgetting that I got my job because I'm not ugly. And I get my way a lot because I know how to use those things that God gave me in the right way. And there are advantages to being a female in a guy's world because guys oh. are evolution, yeah, or have, have programming from evolution too. And so we do have tools in our toolkit. Maybe they're not right, but they're there. And yeah. you can't say that we're completely blocked from success when it's we do in some ways have have a leg up in, in some some areas. And well, you know, so, you know who says that? You know the women that do say that, right? <laughs> the ugly one. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> I know it sounds horrible. Um, but I mean, yeah, it's, it is. It's, it is. I mean, it, it is, you know, and but the, the thing is, like, I mean, you know, I, I, I heard somebody else come up with a, a theory about um, it, it is commonly believed that uh, uh, feminists, can I, can I say it that way, uh -huh. are uh, uh -huh. 
the, the militant feminist is that movement um, mm-hmm. it, it was are just a bunch of ugly chicks who who um, can't get laid so they're angry about that somebody else recently brought up an idea that it's it's not that it's um they they are women have a, a low um, tolerance for for beta males they would rather have an alpha all women want the alpha man the 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 chief of the tribe the guy who is more likely yeah. to be able to yeah. provide for any children they may have so they all seek that out they can't all have the alpha so right, right. many women have to settle for a beta and different women have different tolerances of beta males and yeah. the uh feminists are ones who they're they're typically not lesbians they like men but yeah. they seem to have extremely low beta tolerance and that's that that's you're, something you're that right. seems to make more sense than the the typical uh explanation you're, you're, of, of the you, you're you're right like i i think you, you know it, it, we're back to the individual i mean like i i definitely want to see myself as an individual but i'm also not I do think that the the feminist movement to a certain degree um, flies in the face of hard science, you know, um, because I know how protocols are written. I know how research is conducted. You know, I I know that in in soft sciences like psychology, you can write it in such a way to prove whatever political point you want to make. But we are hardwired. We are to certain behavior and activities. And so I I see that and sense it myself. But if you know it, then you you can also guard against it. Um, but you're right to to an extent that um, yeah, I mean, there's there's that there there's that you know everybody wants Captain Kirk. It's the confident captain. Like nobody, I mean, like there are people that I'll go to Star Trek. So you've got you know because everybody's seen it on syndication. You've got Captain Kirk. There is a reason why people love Shatner and why Jean-Luc Picard they kind of make fun of as an effete kind of whatever, and it's because. It's that confident captain, you know, that I'm going to handle business. I'm going to take care of stuff. That cult of personality. You're right, that alpha male, whatever. It's that I'm going to handle it. I'm Captain Kirk. And I I find myself, because I I am very cerebral in in a lot of ways, and, and, you know, it's very easy online or on the phone to be one person, but but in my, like, if you saw me in real life, there's... I lack bravado that I that I do in in this context. I, I can pull it together if, if I walk into a, a, a city municipal building, but um, you know, in in real life, I, the managing partner of our firm, he's Captain Kirk, right? And there are times where I think, oh, I've got my shit together, and I'm this and this and this, but he always seems to have that that I'm confident about this answer. Mm-hmm. And, you know, and it's like I end up finding myself, I'm like Mr. Spock, like I'll come up with 20 million different ways to come up and do something. And But then I'm like sitting here going, well, well I don't know, wait, if I use this precedent and, uh, you know, and, and, I, and, I, and I've come up with them. I've got like ideas coming out my ass on how to do something. But I sort of rely on him to be that guy that steers it and says, okay, we're going with this. Yeah. And... I do think that that is, it's, it's it's not just women, that's just a human thing. You want that confident captain, because even the beta males want that. They want that guy that's like the, you know, the one that will make the decision and you don't have to worry about it anymore. Um, I, it, explains, so, it explains in a way a lot of why these, they just follow these people that, you know, that they grow the attached to. The cult of personality. Parties. Yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah. And Barack Obama is why Ron Paul example. didn't get ahead. People went crazy for Barack Obama, and I see a lot of you know a lot of what you're saying in that for sure, you know. And, well, and that's why Ron you know, Paul didn't get ahead. I mean, he was the smart yeah. guy, but he's not the. We're going to do this. Let me be clear. You know that we're yeah. going to. You know, you know. Yeah. And, um, you know, and so th- there's that. But, but you're right. Women do. They do gravitate to that. And there's this um, this spawning fanship that, that women had for both Barack Obama and Mitt Romney. I mean, God, like, I love smart yeah, mouth woman, but she's, like, obsessed. The woman, I, I'm sure she's got, like, you know, Mitt Romney posters above her bed. And, yeah, and she, um, loves, she 
too. I remember I got in a little uh, call with her about Bush. How basically she's explaining how she's the same. He's the same as Obama, and her brain couldn't she's comprehend it. Though. Yeah, yeah, well, that too, sure. You know, yeah, but no, it, it certainly didn't. Yeah, go ahead, sorry. Well, I mean, it's, it's interesting. I mean, it's, you know, it would be good to have more women who are libertarians. And, and I've talked to a lot of women who, you know, we get indoctrinated in college. I mean, I, there's no, I mean, like, I know liberals will say, no, you don't, that's such a harsh word. But you do, because you have to take women's studies, and you have to take all these different classes. And you come out thinking that men are the enemy. I mean, or, you know, or most women come out thinking men are the enemy of these classes, you know, that, that men are this and that, and they're the reason why there's all these problems in the world. And I've never been one for history is the reason why, you know, because you can't bring back the glory days, so why bring back the bad stuff, too? Like, I can't be valedictorian again. You know, it happened. Yeah can't bring that day back, so why would I bring back the bad shit, you know? I've never been of that, you know, let me blame the patriarchy for everything because today's a new day. But yeah. and there's a lot of blame, <laughs> you know, with, you know, women of, of, you know, a level of intellect. And, um, hold on, I'm not in my place right now, so i got to be careful. Okay. But there's a lot of women who, um, you know, will... You know, they, they blame men, and they, they, they do. They're part of that democratic farm, you know, and, and and women can't get ahead because of men, and men hate us, and blah, 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 you know, and the Republican war on women. And I was like, what war? Who died? Yeah. You know, I mean, quit using words like that. Call them dicks, call them jerks, but when you, you know, exacerbate and escalate a situation by calling it a war on women, <clears throat> nobody's been at war with me. <laughs> you know, I mean, I haven't, I haven't had a single war, you know. I mean, I've never been and, – and this bothers me, too. I, actually, I thought I think you brought it up, but this idea that, you know, women are so stupid. Like, women do it to each other that, oh, well, you know, we need to have this, this, and this, and, and women have to have be force-fed, you know, birth – and it's like going, okay – on one hand, you want us to be able to get ahead because you believe that we're strong and powerful and women are great. But on the other hand, you think we're too stupid to buy birth control or we're too stupid to know that condoms, you know, prevent AIDS or that we're too yeah. stupid for this and that. But, but we, should, we should have, you know, equal pay. If we're such dumbasses, you know, as, as a sex, that we can't buy condoms or know that that stops the spread of disease, we should still be paid the same as men? You know, and it's like, you know, I, I don't understand this argument. And I well, I was like, who's been at war with me? Who? I don't feel weighed war against. There was this, this guy who wasn't even, I mean, you know, it was a dude. And, and my boss is, you know, I mean, I could tell he likes the ladies. You know, and I knew that going on. I knew I'd get the job over him. I, I knew it. I was like, all I have to do is just, you know, bat my eyelashes a few times. I'll get this job. And I do. No, I do. Well. <laughs> no war wage there. Yeah. Well, you usually got, it, you know, and then there's nothing wrong with taking advantage of what you got, it, you know, right? <laughs> Again, I know. Like, I mean, you know, like, you know, these are my nature's tools. <laughs> Peacocks well, have feathers for a reason, you know. I mean, <laughs> tigers have stripes well, for a reason. <laughs> if you take two equally qualified people and one significantly more attractive than the other, whether it's male or female, I'll get yeah. the job, sorry. That's just the way the yeah. world works. Whether it's fair or not. Yeah. It is. You know, look, oh. it, if it comes down to some ugly chick and the hot chick, the, the, the boss wants to look at the hot chick all day and not the ugly one. That's just the way it goes. Granny. I mean, it's well, true. It, 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 it doesn't even have to be the case that he thinks that way. It, people uh, tend to um, be... <laughs> well, people, it's kind of it uh, it's, it's uh, silly to say. It's, it's kind of obvious, <laughs> I, I guess, to point out that people are attracted to better-looking people, but people mm. trust better-looking people. People yeah. tend to um, prefer to be around better-looking people. That's just all kinds of um, yeah. subliminal I mean, things that happen yeah. when you're dealing and, with and a better-looking person. And that's why Ron Paul didn't get ahead. 
Exactly. If I, I'm totally I, I, I with Barack that. Obama, everything would be totally different. You know what I mean? So, uh, 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 like uh, Obama, it would be different. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. He didn't, he didn't look presidential. That was the problem. You know, I, I mean, it's silly to, that there's even a presidential look, quote unquote. But if there was a creative president, it was fucking Mitt Romney, man. <laughs> yeah, he does. And Paul Ryan. I mean, you know, he, he yeah. brings the cute guy. Yeah. You know, I mean, and um, that was calculated. Sure, sure. Yeah. No, Absolutely. I mean, but. but but, you know, to the voting block thing, like I said, you know, I, it's like the, the thing that I find freeing in, in being a libertarian and this and that is the, the focus on the individual. <clears throat> and I, I get so ticked, you know, as a female when I hear this, everybody's scrambling to get us as a voter block and they're both pretending that they like us. And I re- it, it just feels like, you know, it's prom night all over again and, and the guys are telling you they love you. And it's like, you know, no, you don't. You just want me to vote for you. You know, you're, you're both yeah. sides to have nothing to offer, quote, women, At all. you know. They don't because their ideas are bad. You know, the, the liberals, you know, think you're too stupid to do, you know, to wipe your own ass. And, you know, the Republicans think that you don't have, you know, that you you don't own your life. Yeah. You know, and and it just kind of it, it bothers. Me. You know, I I don't go into abortion because I'll just put it out there. I'm Catholic, but um, but from the government perspective, right? I I have a problem with the force of government being used for any social ill that can be you know fixed at a, at a different level. Sure. And so you know that's that's all that I'll say. <laughs> but yeah. um, you know, I it yeah. huh. Or that can't I mean, be fixed. Yeah, I mean, it's like, but see, that's the thing too. Like, I was arguing on that abortion thread. I was like, why do you think that the government's required? You think it's the Republicans think it is not required to fix poverty, but they think it'll fix this other social ill. Yeah, yeah, it's fun. It's quite amusing if you think about it. They want you to have the baby, but. You know, yeah, don't abort the babies you're going to have, but uh, we don't want to pay for it either. You know, it's kind of funny. Well, I mean, they keep saying that there are these charitable givers and that poverty can be fixed by charity, which I agree with. Yeah. Um, because when there's no safety net, people are more careful about, you know, how they fall, right? Um, sure. and, they'll, and they'll find a way, but at the same time, they think the government can you know, cure drugs and, and abortion. And, and I'm like, no, you know, it's, it's yeah. the same thing. People will handle it. Yeah. You know, if they think yeah, but, that there is no government or there's no chance of government weighing in on it, like if they thought the government is going to not even think about abortion anymore, that it's forever and all time off the table, then they'll do something about it at a grassroots level. But as long as they think that they can be lazy and use the force of government, then they will not focus on what they need to get done. Yeah. Yeah. No, they got their hand in too many damn things, and they don't do anything well at all. No. War on oh, drugs oh. is a fucking massive failure. War on drugs is one of the biggest failures known to mankind as far as I'm concerned. I mean, I think drug use has actually gone up since they started, if I'm not mistaken. And Lord knows Two how much trillion money dollars and more people do drugs than ever before. Two trillion fucking, and more people do drugs than ever. Is the, if, 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 Wait a minute, more people do drugs than ever before as a... More people per capita? More people per person or more people total? Um, more people um, total statistic. doing drugs in the United States since 1972 yeah. when the DEA was created, and two yeah. trillion dollars later, <clears throat> they uh, it's it's exploded. One well, of the biggest failures yeah. of all time. I mean, if that is not the definition of failure, I don't know what the fuck is. <laughs> Unbelievable. Well, and, and you know, and you, you're incarcerating nonviolent offenders with yeah, violent yeah. offenders, and and I mean, you know, I could talk about the prison system too, and and how it's. I, I mean, you know, for somebody. Who is in my position? I, I would go back to Greco-Roman times and scourge people, and then send them on their way. You know, <laughs> I mean, I really, I'm more of that because then there's no tax burden to it. Um, the people will remember a lesson like that, um, whereas the prison becomes institutionalized and will go back out and do it again. But I don't know. Sure. Whatever. Well, I mean, there's so many hands of special interest on the war on drugs. It's unbelievable. I mean, there's so much. Oh, yeah. 
I mean, there's so many. I couldn't, I couldn't even, I wouldn't even know where the damn start. But that's definitely, I mean, it's popped up because of all of this work, just obviously. I mean, there's no other reason. It hasn't worked. Yet. And even if it did work, I want to smoke some pot, so the fuck what? That's not, that's not your damn business. Yeah, I mean, why, why no. should, yeah, I mean, but, but it's a war in soda, the war in pot, you know, the war in fat. I mean, it's always a... We're declaring war on something. It, all these wars are they're just used to... Uh, it's too, Whatever industry is basically, it's basically corporatism. You know what I mean? Yeah, Whatever it's it's an industry. It benefits, it 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 benefits certain as, industries. As, as many things illegal as possible to, to mm. criminalize as, as, as big of a portion sure. of the population as you can. Yeah. I, 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 well, yeah, I still don't know cool. why I think that, sure. or why I think that, why they, they want to do that, but uh, that's just what it is. Yeah. Why? Like Control. I mean, and, huh. and two, it's 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 depopulation to a certain degree. Like, I mean, I, I do think that the 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 Scylla and Charybdis of, of welfare and the drug war um, is pretty much eradicating um, the black population and the black Absolutely. family. And well, absolutely, you know, yeah, it's both of them. I've argued that point. I've gotten arguments on PF where the Neo Times just cite the, you know, what the, you know, what I'm trying to figure. Out. I'm trying to remember. I just lost my train of thought. No, they just cite, yeah, welfare, it's welfare. I'm like, yeah, well, the war on drugs definitely plays a big hand in it too. And then on the other side, you know, some liberals will say, yeah, it's a drug war, messing them up, and they won't touch welfare. It's both of them. You know what I mean? It's both of them, and they've used both of these control the sides to totally fuck them by the Democrats really piling on the welfare pretending they're for them and then the Republicans really piling on you know pushing the war on drugs under the, the false guise of you know you know you, you gotta clean up the streets whatever whatever you know what I mean it's both it's both these sides work together to totally destroy that. That, that that's very interesting that's you're right they do yep. Th that is used we've got to clean up the streets and, and we hear that as a as a well, stated like a, as, a, as a maxim during campaign yeah. time. And yeah. the same it, congressman it, saying that goes home and he fucking smokes a cigarette and he's drinking alcohol. It doesn't alcohol, reduce you know? crime. It increases the crime yeah. rate. It doesn't yeah. reduce it. it you prop up these gangs. Create a market for these gangs. You know what I mean? Well, look what happened with prohibition when that ends. Yes. And you have it all these it. people that are like, you know, sitting there talking about, like, the thing that I think is funny is you've got Republicans who love the idea of business and commerce and capitalism and this and that and don't oh. understand the profitability of black market capitalism. Oh, my God. Yeah. <laughs> and these people incredible. are making, you're, yeah, by making it illegal, you're making these people billionaires be on your own stream. Absolutely. Not yeah. only propping them up and you know the people are getting the cut. <laughs> Not only propping them up with this, you're propping up the you know, prison industrial complex. You know, you a lot of people in the law system get a lot more work because, you know, there's a God knows how many more people in the system, you know what I mean? It, it's this whole I, I I did yeah. the numbers. I, I would lose sixty percent. Jesus. That much? What percent? That, I mean, that's incredible. I mean, that just goes to that, show you how much I mean, that means, in the system. Uh, 60, that, that means the, the uh, sixty percent of the lawyers would no longer be needed, right? Yeah. Well, in, in sixty percent of criminal? criminal attorneys. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, their cost, their cost would go down. You know, the demand would go down drastically. Right. And I mean, and, it's, it's and about sixty percent of the, the case same load. People doing the, doing the work. And that more than ha more than half of the cases are all bullshit related. This is all bullshit. <laughs> you smoke pot. I, oh, I, mean, I would, but at the same time, I wouldn't mind. I mean, I really no, would. That's because you. I mean, it's, that's because you're. You know. That's because you're a good person, though. <laughs> a lot of people aren't good. <laughs> you, probably, you know what I mean? That's the thing. A lot of people. Yeah, are but good we're people. not. That's we're why not the, blood why the that's why this yeah, system I mean, keeps going around, you know what I mean? This is a bullshit system, and it's at the expense of mostly black people when you look at it, you know what I mean, the, the war on drugs. It, 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 it's, it's totally, it's incredible. There's so many hands in this, this whole gimmick, and the fact that most people haven't been able to see through it is quite frankly embarrassing, you know what I mean? It's, it's beyond pathetic. It's, if you think it about it for more than a day, and you look at any statistics, you can see the motives, and there's so many different motives. You know what I mean? It's not for, it's not to help the black population. 
not the health population in general. It does nothing for crime. I mean, crime, it hasn't curbed crime. It's nothing. It, not it, 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 it most doesn't do anything crime, crime. Right? Exactly. Again, because you create these gangs. You prop these gangs by creating the black And that's something that's, uh, what, what one of them uh, was, we, we had that argument recently, and, and um, uh, of course, he he won't admit that one of the neocons. Um, I tell him, well, you're, I explain to him it, it, um, from the ground up how he's making his family less safe, and it, he yeah. he turns a blind eye to it. Yeah, well, I'm sure he I'm denies it. I'm, he I'm denies that that, for... that that drugs being illegal increase the crime rate. Yeah, yeah. No, they don't. I mean, a lot of them either don't get it or some do, and they just don't care. You know what I mean? And either way, it's okay, really. I have it's, to get off because Batman's gonna kill me. So I gotta go. <laughs> okay. Bye. 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 Yeah. Hello. Yeah. 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 No, it's it, it's incredible. It's I uh, it's so many special interests got their hands in it, wanting to continue this, and they're coming from a lot of different spectrums. You know, spectrums of of this whole. It's all corporate. It all benefits big corporations or basically drug dealers. <laughs> I mean, it's incredible. Right. It doesn't help any. It doesn't help the population at all. It just helps these corporations. It, you know, it helps the law system. It helps the prison industrial complex. I mean, a lot of you know, a lot of people would have jobs that wouldn't. You know, like prison guards or whatever the fuck. And then you have right, and the and gangs it doesn't rise help. It. it doesn't help that quiet church-going family who oh, who just oh. thinks that that um, oh, you 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 shouldn't do drugs, and therefore we should uh, you know, have this. This, so all, this all war against drugs, and anybody who speaks against it obviously just wants to do drugs. And, sure. you know, that's the funny thing. I don't do drugs. I don't do any drugs or even drink. Yeah, and, one. And, uh, <laughs> I barely drink. I and, and I have a feeling that a lot of times, a lot of the people I'm arguing against are um, themselves either drunk or drugged up. Sure, most exactly. of the time. Yeah, the, the people who who come down really hard on this, saying someone who's smoking pot should get twenty years in prison, are the same people that are going to go home. They're going to pop open some fucking bourbon or whatever, and they're going to have a cigar. I mean, right. that's what we're dealing. With. And they're it, it's and embarrassing. They're, and they will not. They will not let that argument um, uh, fly that they make against drugs against alcohol. And it's oh. so easy to argue that uh, that alcohol is uh, uh, does more damage uh, to the person who uses it than. Uh, and to the people around him, then does marijuana yeah. at least, um, oh, easy, or even some drugs. I mean, there, there's alcohol is the one of the most deadly drugs there is. For sure, it, it, for sure, and the most addictive. Once you, it, it does take. Uh, well, I, I I was gonna say it takes time to become addicted to it, but um, that's not ne always the case. With some people, they they just they have a natural propensity to, to, to become addicted to alcohol and once yeah, they start drinking get addicted they're, really they're, they're addicted. Yeah. It's one of the biggest drugs of all. I mean, I'm not saying it should be illegal. I think it should be illegal. Because I, no, you know, I would drink no. from time to time and I'm not a fucking drunkard idiot. You know what I mean? There's people right. that abuse and, it. It's and, not, it's and not and the no, actual sex. That's not, that's not our problem. Our, our argument yeah. is not inconsistent because we're not saying that. Absolutely but not. They're it's saying everything illegal. that these other yeah. ones should be illegal and then they turn around and oh. defend this one and, yeah. and say that it it, it uh, it's frustrating. It's incredible. I mean, even with the alcohol, they put this silly twenty-one age group on when you know the age of adult is eighteen. I mean, <laughs> but I think that's more of a ploy to kind of show the younger people who's boss. You know what I mean? I think that's a control type thing. To be honest with you, yeah. But, uh, that's a different subject entirely. But no. I mean, the war on drugs is a total failure, and they have to know it's a total failure, but they're not going to stop the gravy train, <laughs> you know what I mean? I mean, right. you, you heard just now, 60% of the salary, I mean, she would yeah. not be enough middle class that's, for no, that. This, this. <laughs> well, this this would not, no one, it, this, yeah, I mean... It, this no guy has a, has a, has a, he says, um, he asks, if 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 uh, taxation is immoral, and yep. um, so far uh, when I looked at it, nine people had weighed in, and six of them said um, uh, uh, n no. Oh yeah. And so I I, I note that um, 
at least six people believe that it's not wrong to take something from someone else by force. Well, yeah, first of all, the concept... And he just responded saying, saying, saying does, yeah. it, it, does that surprise you? They've all been conditioned to think this way. No, it doesn't surprise me at all. Uh, you know, I mean, you hear it from everybody. You know, they think that it should be, um, you know, there should be taxation of fun things, you know, like, you know, welfare and social programs and war, defense and all that shit. So they're, they're conditioned to it. But not only is the concept of taxation immoral, just taken from somebody with force, when you look deeper into it, it's even more immoral when you see what they do with the fucking money. You know what I mean? Oh. I mean, that takes the immoral and it takes it to Hell another yeah. level. Because it's not like you're taking my money and doing whatever with it. I mean, I'm, there's a lot of ways. You're using it not, to hurt but in a lot of cases, when you use fucking my money and now you blow up some fucking kid with a drone strike, <laughs> now you took something in my name. immoral. Yeah, it, it, I mean, it, it's our money, right? Now you took something that's immoral, and you just multiplied it by fucking 7,000, you know what I mean? So it's not only just the right. concept, it's what they actually do with this shit. Because they're doing all sorts of shady right. evil shit, you know what I mean? It's, it's yeah. craziness. Yeah, and, that, and uh, it's not even just like and we have our... That, when yeah, they blow but, people up and, and invade countries and do whatever they... Their 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 rule over we're ruler of the world um, thing. They're doing it in our name. Absolutely, yeah. Which is why they're, they're, justified they're going out and like, you know, the attacks on the first, first, first they, you know, they sell it to us and convince us that it's needed for our safety, and then they go and and represent us with um, cruise missile uh, yeah. caliber bullet. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, no, and that's why, you know, you know, if you believe in the theory that 9-11 was a blowback, um, that's why they feel justified in attacking citizens, because, you know, well, fuck it, we're the ones who funded it, and we didn't do anything about it, you know, so... Yeah, and, and that's, a, that's, another, that's another really discouraging and frustrating thing, is, is yeah. considering the, how, we, how we, well, our government has behaved around the world over the last hundred yeah. years, um, most mostly the last 50 or out since World War II. Um, sure. Even if we stop it, the damage is done, and it's going to continue yeah. to hurt us. We're going to con continue to reap the, 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 the negative benefits of this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I think well, a, lot of, a big reason why we're able to do all these crazy things, especially overseas, is because any time we want fucking money, we just print it up. It's this fiat system that, that fucking allows these people to do this crap. You know what I yeah. mean? Yeah. Because if we had, if right. we couldn't just, if we had resources and we couldn't just fucking create money, wouldn't, we wouldn't be you know, in these wars right now. You know what I mean? That's amazing. I, I wonder what the purchasing power uh, would be like of the average person or the average lower middle class or lower class person today sure. had it not been for the Federal Reserve. Had it been the case, I, ooh, imagine if my ideal system had been in place this whole time where you can't, yeah. um, you, you can't inflate uh, your, well, you can't pyramid your debt ad infinitum because uh, you'll, your, your bank will be run on, and if your bank gets run on, you go to jail. See, yeah. that's my ideal system where you can't sure. it's set up legally to where you can't. And it, the, the way to do that is, is very, very simple. The yeah. courts treat um, deposit accounts or d demand accounts, the kind of account where you, you, you want to draw on any time you want, you, you're able to just, like a checking account, you know, sure. uh, treat yeah. those kind of accounts as, um, as warehouse accounts to where they actually have to have the money in, yeah. the, um, in the bank oh, that yeah. you use. Now, this, this makes a lot sense. less money available for speculation, but yeah. it, it's true, and, and the economy would grow slower. It would grow at a slower yeah. pace because of that. Yeah. Now, there would still be money available for investments. Not all accounts would be like that. But sure. you can't have a bank run. You can't have a bank run that shuts down a bank. Yeah. So you wouldn't yeah. need the FDIC. You wouldn't need the Federal Reserve. Um, yeah. And money, actually, there's a fixed amount of it this way in, in the market. So it, yeah. you have deflation. Yeah. So, Imagine if that had been the case over the last, because this should give you an idea of how robust our, our economy actually is, how, how um, strong it is, 
how, how strong the physical economy is, like the stuff it's made out of, you know, the people who work and all their sure, tools. Sure. Yeah. They, they, what, the, what, what the government lives off of when they fight these wars and do these things, it, do this, yeah. when they spend this, this incredible amounts of money, um, they're living off of our purchasing power. 